When you live in an RV or a van full time, it can be hard to find places for all your stuff. Well, you guys might remember that in my wardrobe back here, I built some shelves to help me with my space and I got all my clothes into three shelves. Well, I figured out a way to fold my clothes that literally cut down my clothes storage by 30% and I'm gonna show you how I do it in this video. everybody it's Robin with Creativity RV thank you for visiting to check out my latest video today I'm going to show you guys a hack that I learned for folding my clothes like you would a sock you know how you fold over your socks into a ball and it takes up just a very little bit of space you guys might remember from my shelf video that I was rolling all of my clothes because you know from packing suitcases I thought that was the best way but my hoodies were a problem so I went on the hunt to find out how to fold a hoodie so it took up the least amount of space. And I found some information on that and also some information from the channel 5 Minute Crafts and I'm going to link them below because if you haven't seen them they have the best videos and it's not a craft channel. So I used a method they had and a method I learned on a hoodie video and made it my own and I figured out how to fold absolutely everything I own into a little satchel. Now let me tell you why this is good. Not only did it cut down my space by 30%, but I have to put my clothes on top of each other, like you probably do in your space. And when I was rummaging through the clothes when they were rolled or folded, everything just became a mess. I didn't know where anything was and everything got unfolded, and then it just took up more space. Well now, with the satchel method, not only does it take less space, but everything's in a nice little ball and it doesn't get jumbled around when I move it. So here's a shot of what my shelves looked like when I was rolling my clothes. So not too bad, I got a handle so I could just pull the shelf out and see the clothes, but still they were taking up a lot of space, especially the hoodies. So this is what my shelf looks like now. All of the clothes for my RV are on these two shelves and I have really pared down my clothes, but I have a lot of clothes in here, so let me show you guys. So this is, oh God, I don't know, probably 20 pairs of t-shirts and pants and shorts. And I just keep like caps over there, so that's not even clothes. And then up here on the right, that entire bin is full of hoodies. I think I've got seven of them in there. And then I've got some other things, some long pants and pajamas and long sleeve shirts over here. Um, it works great for me. So for example, this is a t-shirt. And see, it's just in this little satchel, this perfect little satchel. And then I can stack them like this. So let me show you how I do that. You guys, this is the t-shirt I showed you in the beginning. It's actually a huge t-shirt. It's Doug's. And I'm going to show you how to fold this down into a little satchel or a little pouch like a sock. Now, a sock has an elastic band at the top that you can fold the sock in, right? A t-shirt obviously doesn't have that. So what you want to do is you want to figure out how to fold it into the collar or on anything else you just have to find an arm or a strap or some kind of a neck or a leg or something to fold it into so let me show you how i do it on this one you start out by just folding it like a regular t-shirt like lots of us fold t-shirts what you want to do is get it as close to the actual neck right here as possible so you guys can see you can judge how wide you want your satchel to be, and that's what you want to do right here. So I'm just going to make it nice and flat all the way down. I know that you guys can't see all of this in the frame, but it is huge. And then what I'm going to do is fold it up, and you want to leave a little bit of room up here by the neckline. Fold it up, and then you just want to fold it over in whatever size satchel that you want. So that's about right for me, right there. And then I'm gonna flip it over here, and you can see that I still have the neck. I'm sure some of you are going to worry that it's going to stretch out the neck of your t-shirts. I don't know, I, I'm not that worried about that on the road. Um, if it has elastic, it won't do it. So if you're worried about that, you know, take each item as it comes and decide for yourself if you wanna do it. I have not found personally that it stretches anything out. I think it depends on the actual thing you're folding. So. It's like this, right? And what you want to do is just turn it inside out using the neck. 
I hope you guys can see this okay. So, now the neck is going to be inside out. And here's how big it is. And you get this little crease. So now, you know, I can toss this around or it can get tossed around inside my shelf and it's not going to go anywhere. Now let me show you guys how I figured out doing pants. I didn't see any other videos on this, so if there's anybody that has a better way or, you know, you learned military folding or something, please do put in the comments below what you do. But here, as an example, you can see I have a pair of pajamas. And so pajamas have a waistband up here. And I've also figured out that I can fold stuff into the bottom of my pants. So this is just one example. I'm going to show you another one in just a minute. So here's what you want to do. Get them as flat as possible. You want to fold them in half. And then you want to fold it in like this. So you have one consistent nice length. About, you know, the length that you want to have your satchel. Like I'm going for the same kind of width as my t-shirt here. And then you just want to do the same thing. I have found that on the waistband here, the tighter you can make this, the better. And there's actually a secret to this up here if you have elastic. So hang on, I'm going to show you that. So here's this, right? I'm going to go ahead and fold it over, just like I did the last one. And then I'm going to fold it into a tiny little satchel. Now, it's like this. Here's the secret if you have elastic. Here's the elastic waistband, right? You want to hold this with your thumb while you pull the rest of it around. And forgive me, you guys, because I have to do this actually a little bit off camera so I can hold it better. I find that I have to, to get these started because it's so tight, I actually have to pull it up against my body to do it, which is what I was just doing. And there you have it. Here's my little tiny satchel of pajamas. Now, depending on, you know, what you're folding and what size you want, you can start to work with it. But that's basically what you do. And again, fits really well inside of a bin and it makes them about this big. Here's another pair of pants that I absolutely love, by the way. A lot of you have commented on these pants before. They're like kind of like gypsy pants. I actually have them in three different colors. I love them. Um, they're also in my intro video. You can see me wearing them. Um, I'm going to put the link for these actually below because so many people have asked me about these. They're really cool to wear, um, meaning that they are not hot. <laughs> so here's what you do with these. These have elastic on the top and they have elastic on the bottom. So I just want to show you this as a way that you can actually do this by using the leg to make the satchel. This pair of pants will get tiny, tiny because I use the leg. So just like any other pair of pants or the pajamas that I just did, I go ahead and start it like this, like most of us would normally fold a pair of pants. But this time, because I'm actually using the ankle to make it into a satchel instead of the waistband, I'm going to fold it towards the ankle. And then again, you just make it as small as you can, press it down as you go. Okay, so now, you know, it's about that big but we want to keep it that big. So I just take the ankle and again, I'm going to hold the elastic with my thumb and then pull it around. So that one I could do without holding it against my chest. That's it. Look how little this is. That is tiny. It's about the size of a pair of hiking socks, which is great. And again, it doesn't come apart while you're driving and it takes up less space. Now, let me show you how to do a hoodie, which is what led me on this journey in the first place. I found a few different ways to do this. Um, I'm gonna show you what my favorite was for space. But, you know, hoodies, I wear a lot because the weather changes so quickly and they became the bane of my existence to figure out where to put because they were so big and I did not have any hanging storage. And so this is how I folded into a little satchel. Game changer for me for storage. The secret to this is that you're actually going to be folding it inside the hood. Some of my hoodies don't have these cords anymore because they bug me. But if you have the cords, it actually makes it a little bit better. So here's how you do it. The first thing you want to do is flip it over so that the back is down and then just let the hoodie fall over, okay? Then, again, fold it however you're going to fold it. 
you want to make it as flat as possible. But just like with the t-shirt, you want to bring it over right up to the crease of where the hood is itself. So about like that. It's like watching paint dry, right? Watching other people fold clothes. Okay, then it's like this. Now this would be about the size if you folded it inside of a closet, right? Except for that you would have this big bulky hood and it takes that much room. But here's what we do to make it into a satchel. So you wanna make it as tight as possible you just fold it over like this and then you pull the hood around it. Easy peasy. And then if you were smart enough to keep your cords, you do this. Look at that. That is a tiny little satchel. And like I showed you in the video before, I'm able to get about seven of these in one skinny long tray because I put them up like this. And I have figured out how to do this with absolutely everything I own. I do it with camera cases now and bags and, and everything. And things are easy to see and they're easy to store. That's it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and that you can use a method like this in your van or RV life. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps other people discover it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, check out my blog at creativityrv.com. Everybody have happy travels out there and be free.